And we are going to talk about real life, real people to create real wealth. Why? Because every single one of us deserves it. Hey, everybody, Julie Murphy here, and we are going to talk about real life, real people to create real wealth. Why? Because every single one of us deserves that. Every one of us. Today, I wanted to share about our financial feelings and how whatever you feel, which is the strongest magnet you have, is the human heart, creates your financial reality. What is it that I mean by that? I'm going to tell you a story about when I was building my business when I was 22 years old. And I know there's going to be little nuggets for you here that you can take and apply into your own life. So coming out of college, I really wanted to become a financial planner. I had a friend of mine um, come to me, someone I went to high school and college with, and she came to me and she said, oh my God, I was just on this job interview and it's definitely not me, but it is absolutely who you are. And it was to interview to be a financial planner. I knew I was a salesperson and I had an outgoing extrovert personality, but I had no idea how it was actually going to take that and mix my finance degree until I realized this when my friend referred me to that. Now, long story short, I interviewed with all different kinds of companies. And I had this one gentleman who is a mentor to this day, you know, 29 years later, he is still a mentor of mine in the industry. And he said to me, this is the industry. This is what we do. But I was like, oh my God, that's it. And I was vibing. My heart was like, I found it. I got it. Did you ever have those things in your life that just, that you're like, oh my God, I don't know how I get there, but oh my God, I know I got to do this. Well, that's what happened to me when I was 22 years old. Then what happened? I got the test of the universe. I got this thing in the mail because my industry has you take this thing called a Limbra test. And the Limbra test you fill it all out, and then it tells you your likelihood to succeed. Ever take any one of those things before? Boy, pure judgment process is what these little tests are for. And different industries have different things that measure this. Well, the company that this gentleman worked for told me that they didn't want me. And I was like, oh, what do you mean you don't want me? Well, I'm going to go find somewhere that does want me. And I couldn't. I was floored because... How did I have this emotional feeling that I was supposed to go to that career? I was supposed to go, like my friend said, Julie, this is all you. I was like, yes, let's do it. And then I turned around and they told me no, because this test was about pretty much how wealthy was the family that you came from. And those of you who don't know my story, I am the second oldest of 12 children. And I put myself through school and I had a whole bunch of student loans when I came out and credit card debt, and car debt. So I started out at 22 years old, piled with debt, piled with it, right? So then what happened is I went around, found a company that wanted to hire me. And at the time that was John Hancock and went into their CFP program to become a certified financial planner. So all of a sudden I'm like, all right, I'm vibing. I got this. Okay, I'm starting to get it, blah, 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 blah. But that place didn't have the leadership at the time and a few months after I started, the whole lot of the people who hired me all got fired. And I was like, now what do I do? So here, my human heart was expanding with excitement. And then it was contracting like, oh, God, now what do I do? Oh, I found the industry I want to go to. Oh, they don't want me. Oh, my God, I got into one of the companies. Oh, God, they all just got fired. The universe slash God, whatever your belief system is, works in mysterious ways. And it all is about energetic vibration. I wound up with the guy who was standing there convincing me that this is the industry that I wanted to be in. He walks in as my boss eight months later. Seriously, everybody, you could not plan that. Now, this is where your emotional feelings are everything of what you are creating in your life, including your financial situation, the relationships you're in, your health, everything. And I'm gonna give you an example of how, when I apply this to the beginning of my career. This gentleman saw my numbers that 
I didn't really, I think I sold like $8,200 worth of stuff in eight months, which, okay, so the limerick test was white. I didn't have wealthy family members. I had a bunch of debt. So I knew a lot of people who went to college and had a lot of debt just like me. Okay. That was my inner circle and my numbers proved it working for a financial firm. They absolutely proved it. And so what happened? Turned around, this guy had this conversation with me about, well, I know what it takes to be successful in this industry. And it takes a lot of hard work and systems and organizations and blah, blah, blah. And honest to God, you guys, that's the only thing I heard. I did not hear anything different until years later, after I was married, I heard this gentleman tell the story of his first day meeting me. Now, this is 20 years later, and I'm hearing him tell this story. And he's telling the story of like, oh, my God, this girl, not successful, didn't come from any money, had all these student loan debts, had all these things on top of her, and she wasn't going to bury herself out of that hole anytime soon. And you know what? He's, he's telling my husband at the time, I just try to convince her to go work for a bank. And once she's successful, I kind of like pat me on the head. Like, once you're successful, why don't you come back here? And then, then we can work it out. I did not hear any part of that conversation, any of it. And what I've realized now, 29 years later, is that I was vibing with the fact that this guy knows how to be successful. I was attracted to him in the first place when I was interviewing. Then he comes in as my boss eight months later because the guys who I did get hired by weren't successful in the industry and they had gotten fired for having an unsuccessful office, not realizing that I was going into an unsuccessful office. So I was 22. What did I know? And this guy said, he, and to this day, he says, I have no idea because I was going to write a check for 10 grand if you failed. And I wasn't willing to take that away from my children. But something told me, you show up here every day at 7 a.m. And if you're one minute late, late, pack up your shit and go. And I was like, okay, no problem. I'm here. My energetic vibration, because I was feeling like, oh my God, I found the guy that knows how to be successful in the industry. And I was going to follow what he said. Well, I'm sitting here 29 years later in one of the top positions as an independent financial advisor. So I'm going to challenge you that no matter what situation is happening around the world, I followed my heart. I followed the thing that excited me the most. I followed it no matter what noise was coming at me and trying to tell me something different. And each and every one of us deserves to love ourselves enough to put ourselves out there and to create a life that we love. So I want to challenge you, no matter what your scenario is today, no matter what your experience has been, no matter what reality you've created for yourself, follow your heart. Because guess what? The doors always open. You just don't know how they're going to open. And I think that's the most challenging part for each of any one of us. But we can no longer keep our heart on the sidelines. We have to start with our heart, and take it along, and then add our, smart, add our smarts is what one of my mentors says. So, and if you need support, come join us on juliemurphy.com. We are here to help be a part of a community that's going to support what your dreams are and how do you get there. Talk to you guys soon. Ciao.